All right, guys, I want to make a really quick video showing you guys how I mount my speed controllers to my chassis. So that's what we're going to do. In this video, I'm going to show you. I think I got like a really trick kind of way of doing it. So stick around. All right, guys. I've mounted them pretty much every way, you know, the double side sticky tape, I'm not a big fan of that because when it comes time to clean your car, you have to like take it off and redo it. And it just doesn't really seem to hold up that well. And you know, I've tried like Velcro, um, it sticks up kind of high and it doesn't really, if something hits it or pulls on it, there's a chance of it coming off. So this is what I do. Um, anytime I buy something, if it comes with foam or any type of material like this, like I hang on to it. Um, I think this comes in the batteries that I bought. Um, might be mistaken, but yeah, somehow I got a hold of this, these, you know, strips of foam. Um, this is kind of what they look like. <laughs> yeah. So I just kind of, you know, cut those and made it match the, uh, the body of the car. So if you have like a spare case, so it's, it's a good way to do it. But yeah, so this will fit under the, uh, your speed controller and most speed controllers that I've, I've seen they all have like these little holes in the bottom of them which I'm pretty sure you know they mean for you to use these for screws so but um like I said I'm not going to use this case so what I did in this one which you can do this without drilling holes in your case but what I did was I went ahead and just drilled holes in this case right there where those screw holes are whatever so that way I could hold it down to like this plate where you're supposed to mount your speed controller and my camera's kind of crappy so it's not gonna focus but just be careful i wouldn't do this on your car or do this you know just look at where you're drilling people but you can see the drill the hole is like really close to the mounting bracket so sometimes it doesn't work sometimes it doesn't but even if you could get like one screw in here and you know double size sticky tape <laughs> it's still going to hold it way better than like you know not having that one screw in there <laughs> but yeah so i don't throw these foams like i don't bolt it down you know tight i make sure the screws are long enough to where they'll kind of bottom out but you know don't bust your case or anything but have this pad in there that way if you have an impact i mean if it gets rock forward it has some give to it because you know electronics like these cars go you know they're they live they go through some rough stuff you know what I'm saying you come up short or you case a jump i mean it's it takes a toll on stuff so yeah um i'm gonna get this one knocked out real quick and like i said oh go back to this but like i said you don't have to like drill holes in your case to do this um a way that i used to do it is like i said you could you could go ahead and drill your holes, like eye them up roughly in this little foam, and then take some scissors and trim around it. That way you get a nice clean square like this, you know, so it fits just under it. So, you know, you don't have to cut your case. So. Yeah, if you have one, I mean, it's just easier because then you can just, you know, press it down like this with the foam, cut it with the blade around it, then flip it over, drill your holes in it, and then you have this. You can kind of mock it up where you want it right here and then just drill your holes in the plate you know just and done so yeah all right i'm gonna get this all knocked out get it bolted down and everything and show you guys what it looks like in the chassis all right guys this is money right here look at this that is beautiful right there on the edge it was like I'm like really OCD about it like being like perfect where I want it and that is spot on so that's the screws in the bottom of it right there um, you can see it's like really close to the button heads we're hitting so I just took a file um, I got like some little bitty files and I just kind of notched the post right there so it would actually fit down in there so it took a little bit of work but it's no problem Yep, yeah, this thing will sit just like that. 
and it will look beautiful. So the car is coming together pretty good. And you know, I'll have my uh, wires running from here, then to the batteries. So, yeah. And like I said, it's not on here tight. Um, let's see here. If you guys will be the seat or not. But there is give to this. It's not like firmly mounted. I really need to get a better camera. I'm sorry, guys. But yes, it's not firmly, firmly mounted. So it does have some play. And when it comes time to clean this, you can just unbolt the tray and like take the whole uh, speed controller out, or you can just unbolt the tray and take the screws out, and you know makes life easy. So I'm gonna get this mounted, get my wires and everything run. Find a good place for my lap counter, and then we can start moving on to my least favorite part of bioelectric stuff is going to be soldering. So, yeah, I'm not going to show that. Like I said, I just I'm not much of a solder, so you, you, know, you don't want to see that. Trust me. <laughs> like I'm so bad at. Like I've almost thought about like taking it somewhere and let someone that can actually lay like some really pretty solder connect joints on there. But um, anyway, it's enough of me rambling. But yeah, just wanted to show you all that real quick. That's a little thing that I do that I think, you know, I don't know of many people that do it that way. I've seen like zip tie is holding, you know, speed controllers on and stuff like that. So yeah, it's a clean way to do it. It's a safe way to do it. Like I said, depending on your foam, you can use something that has, that's kind of dense, something that's a little softer. So I mean, you can really get creative with it. But yeah, that's always worked for me. I've never had any kind of issues or anything like that. So, and I guarantee you, it will not come off. <laughs> Like I said, um, I haven't, I'm not a big electric guy, so I don't use many, you know, speed controllers, but um, the majority of them have some kind to, you know, holes in the bottom like that where you can use for mounting. Um, whether that's what they meant for you to do or not, I don't know. But that's just the way I do it. But alright guys, I appreciate you watching, sticking around and all that good stuff. We'll see you on the next one.